This next question comes to us from a reader in Italy, and it has to do with vitamin B12. It's from Filippo, and he writes, he keeps reading to take 2,000 micrograms of cyanocobalamin once a week, yet when he looks online or at the natural food store, he sees the dosages are 5,000 micrograms. Is he in danger of taking too much, or does the bioavailability decrease at these large doses? Uh, well, thank you, Filippo. And actually, the second uh, answer is actually the correct one. Well, first of all, let's talk about vitamin B12. It's an absolutely essential nutrient. You need it to keep your brain functioning, your spinal cord working. Do not run out of this substance in your tissues. Uh, and it's made by microbes in the soil. Animals don't make it. Uh, uh, it's in the uh, grass uh, particles, uh, uh, that is the uh, grazing animals, the elephants, buffaloes, giraffes, uh, deer, antelope. As they're grazing on grass, they're pulling up uh, whole grass that has soil particles cling to the roots. And in these soil particles are the microbes that produce vitamin B12. The animal swallows them. They get into the animal's uh, stomach. Uh, B12 is produced and absorbed into the animal's muscles. Uh, yes, you can kill the animal and get your B12 that way, but uh, the animal didn't make it. It was microbial B12 all along. And we used to get our B12 the same way uh, when we were living in foraging bands and spent all day pulling up roots and tubers and starchy vegetables and eating them. We didn't wash them off under chlorinated drinking water. Uh, so we would get B12 on the surface of the vegetables that we foraged. Uh, we would drink out of streams. There would be B12 in the stream water. Now, the same vitamin B12 is flowing through our intestinal tracts just like it does do the deer and the antelope today. But welcome to the 21st century. Nobody's eating unwashed vegetables. Nobody's drinking out of streams. And for that reason, the natural sources of B12 have uh, disappeared from our diet. And due to this bargain we make with modern sanitation, uh, we are uh, obligated now, if you're a complete plant eater, to get your vitamin B12 out of uh, supplemental sources. Uh, you can go to any natural food store or buy online uh, cyanocobalamin. Uh, this is a well-absorbed, stable uh, form of vitamin B12. And 2,500 micrograms uh, of that. Microgram is a millionth of a gram. 2,500 micrograms once a week is enough to keep your tissue stores topped up. That's all you really need. Uh, if you're consuming it daily, then around 250 micrograms should be more than enough. But it's not the kind of uh, vitamin you really need to take every day. Some folks, uh, it's stored in the tissues. Some folks uh, don't want to take anything with a molecule of cyanide attached, even though it's, the amount is so trivial. I don't think it has any serious pharmacologic effects. Uh, but if you don't want the cyanide at all, then you can get methylcobalamin, M-E-T-H-Y-L-C-O-B-A-L-A-M-I-N, uh, methylcobalamin. It works just as well. Again, the same dosage should do the trick. But if there's any question, after you've been on a given preparation of vitamin B12, and this includes the uh, fortified B12 in, in soy milk, uh, after a minimum three months, but six months on a particular type of supplement, uh, then you can get your vitamin B12 level checked and make sure that it's up over at least 600 micrograms per ml. Uh, the normal range is down to 200, but I think that's way too low. People are getting symptomatic by the time their B12 gets down to 200. But it's important to check for B12 function. Uh, if you've got enough B12, then uh, the molecules that it detoxify, homocysteine should be nice and low, and another one called MMA, methylmalonic acid, should be nice and low. If those guys are creeping up to the upper limit of normal or higher, then your B12 is not getting into your tissues in adequate amounts. So you would need to either increase the dosage or change the form. If you're using cyanocobalamin, go to methylcobalamin or vice versa. But if there's any question, yes, check your vitamin B12 level, uh, but get an MMA level and, an, and a homocysteine level. Uh, both of those should be nice and low if your B12 is doing what it should. Uh, there's also a form called holotranscobalamin 2. Uh, you can also check, which is a very accurate form of B12 measurement as well. 
So uh, do these large doses, the 5,000 microgram dosage, uh, lower the uh, bioavailability? Yes, it does a little bit. Uh, the body can only absorb about 1,000 to 2,000 micrograms a day. Once you've uh, taken more than that, uh, the, the excess really doesn't get absorbed and it goes out in the stool. So uh, you don't have to stress too much if you only have 5,000 microgram uh, tablets. Uh, I like the kind that dissolve under your tongue. Uh, or a liquid, uh, or a nasal spray, they all work. Um, but as long as you're in that 2,000 microgram range, just do it once a week, and then after a couple of months, check your levels of B12, homocysteine, and MMA, methylmalonic acid, and verify that your B12 levels are up and doing their job protecting you. So that story on B12, uh, uh, don't stress over it. And again, the... Natural sources of B12 have dropped out of our lives due to modern sanitation. It's not an inherent defect of plant-based diets. Uh, again, if, we, if you really want to forage for your plants and drink out of streams, you would need to take a B12 supplement from that natural living style, uh, but nobody wants to do that these days. So uh, take your supplement and, and, and be grateful that it's available at all. Dr. Michael Clapper here, and I want to thank you for visiting my channel and for watching this video. I've got a lot more content that I'm creating to answer health-related questions for you, my viewers. So please uh, subscribe to my channel down here. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and comment on it. Thanks for helping to spread the word about the power of whole food plant-based nutrition to heal both people and the planet.